Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video today and we're gonna make a snowy slope. The only difference is that I'm not gonna use a sketch base. So it's gonna be just watercolor directly on a paper. Now that I'm using a 8 mop brush to spread the, the water on the upper side of the paper and I'm gonna stop at the horizon line to make the sky. So after that layer of water, you will have to add a very light layer of gray or blue or however your sky color is going to be. So I went with the combination of indigo and burnt sienna. I like to make my grays using two pretty much opposite colors. So. I am testing this, the values of this color because I'm only going to use one color for the whole painting. I'm testing them on the swatch paper, as you can see. So now I'm using a round 2 brush from the same company, it's going to be Princeton Neptune. I love these brushes. They're synthetic, but they, they feel a lot like a natural squirrel hair, so they, they are great. Now I wait for, for the paper to be completely dry. At this point, it's, it's bone dry. You cannot move on to the next layer once the first one is completely dry. Now I am applying a darker shade of the same color in, in a really thin line up there in the horizon. And this one will have to be softened into the into the upper part just to make it more atmospheric but I can fix that later now I'm creating the, the slope shape using strokes that are organic you can see that I took the cardboard off I think my paper needs to be straight at this point I'm not gonna do a general wash so there's no point for that think the round 8 brush would be more appropriate for the big strokes, for the thick lines. Don't overthink this part, it's gonna be a lot better if you put a line and leave it there, not fudge with it, it's gonna look a lot more crisp and fresh. So slopes are different, you don't have to copy the reference photo or a tutorial that you are following just make your own artwork now I'm using the same color in even the darker value and I switched to the two round I'm now just gently rubbing the the brush over the surface of the paper to create that uneven effect now doing the the round part there and that needs to have an even darker area for the shade I think I'm gonna wipe that that's too dark yeah okay don't make your lines very even because that is gonna look very unrealistic make it look organic just do one part darker the other one lighter and some parts can be even thicker and other ones can be thinner you'll have to pay attention at this stage not to stain your paper it's usually better to put a napkin or just paper towel on top of that part of the painting that is completely dry and you're not gonna mess with now I'm I'm, I'm working on shading I'm, I'm just rendering the, the bottom part some edges need to be softened the ones that are towards the darker side and the ones towards the lighter part of the slope are gonna be very crisp just like the snow It looks like cut 
in the surface. See that I'm using now a paper towel and I I don't want to mess that part so it's completely dry everything in the bottom. And now I switch to the eight brown brush with a very dark mix of the two that I previously mentioned, which are again indigo and burnt sienna. I'm using Windsor and Newton colors for this painting. After I paint in the branches, the main parts, you'll have to switch to a smaller brush and try to vary the thickness of the, each branch and moreover you have to pay attention because you need a complexity, some, some branches are going to be closer to your eye and other ones are going to be further away and you have to know that the ones that are further away are going to have to be more washed a lot lighter than the ones that are closer try to study a tree just take a photo from a friend or just the regular photo that you can find online or even go outside and study the trees and try to capture that organic shape. Now I'm adding the last details. I didn't put the whole length of this video. It's going to be... I think I worked about 20 minutes to make the whole the whole crown of the tree. Now I have to add a little bit of white on top of some branches just to make the their appearance of snow on top of the branches. I'm not putting that everywhere. I'm, ch I'm choosing the branches that are darker. Darker branches are closer and they're gonna have more visible snow. Now I'm splattering the same wa white gouache on top with a toothbrush. And that's it. Thank you for so much for watching guys and hope to see you in the next video. Happy painting!